You're driving political polarization by failing to engage on a level of discussion. As you know, we're going to do a Q&A after this, and I love taking questions. It's my favorite thing, and I have a rule, which is if you disagree with me, you raise your hand and you go to the front of the line, because discussion makes the country better. But you feeling insulted and then whining about it, and then suggesting that you're a victim without evidence and that I have victimized you because I won't accept your victimhood, this makes the country a worse place. So I want to go briefly through a couple of the intersectional hierarchy groups, people who feel they're victims in American society, and explain why you are not, in fact, a victim, why you need to take control of your own life and become an adult. So let's start with the idea that poor people in America are victimized. Now, this is sort of the Bernie Sanders case. Income inequality is the root of all evil. This is Antifa's case that communism or anarchism would be a better solution than, say, a free and civil society that's raised half the world out of abject poverty. Right? Income inequality is not the big problem. Nobody rich is making you poor. Bill Gates did not make you poor. Bill Gates provided you a product, and if you bought it, that is your fault. 